you know, in your life, there are certain people who pass through who are really special and you remember them forever. And I would have to say that Vince is that. You know, I came to Yale as a student who loved architecture. Vince Scully didn't instill that in me. But what he did instill in me was a sense that I needed to spend my whole life working in it. I think probably one of the most important things about Vince's class at Yale was the number of non-architects who took it. Of course, most of these students didn't go on to become architects or art historians or anything, but they've always carried this message with them. And that has done more than just about anything else I can think of. Uh, to enhance our appreciation and to get the public policies and the public support that these places need. The fact that he's also educated a bunch of successful architects is gravy on that, but really his gift to Yale and to the world has been a whole group of the best and the brightest now know how to love architecture. He's the most important architectural critic and the most important advocate for architecture that we've had. Vince is a brilliant architectural historian. He's a brilliant scholar. He's a brilliant educator. He's a brilliant critic. He is a real advocate, and he's passionate about all things to do with the built environment. He has no stylistic bent. He doesn't have a stylistic dogma. And he's perfectly happy to call a good building a good building, regardless of what style it was created in. He has done more to enhance public appreciation of spaces, neighborhoods, uh, great history as encompassed in the built environment, great architecture. Uh, there's nobody like him. The Vincent Scully Prize was established at the National Building Museum by one of our former trustees, David Schwarz, who was a student of Vince Scully and really wanted to find a mechanism to honor Vince for all of his tremendous work and his influence in the field. I think the reasons for founding the Vincent Scully Prize are not specific to Vince, but rather specific to what Vince does. Vince causes people to think about the built environment and what we build and how we live. The Building Museum is dedicated to revealing the intricacies and the importance of architecture to the general public. So together, we share a very important mission. The Building Museum is the only institution in the United States that has a broad-based definition and charter of being concerned about the built environment universally. So it was sort of this wonderful institutional match with Vince. And I think that, you know, who better than the National Building Museum to do this? Virtually every recipient of the Scully Prize has been an educator in one sense or another in terms of translating the importance of the built environment and the building arts to other scholars as well as to the general public. It is really remarkable to see people who are so prominent in the world and so confident in the work that they do, come here and receive the Vincent Scully Prize, meet Vince himself, refer to him as Professor Scully in the most deferential tones. It just shows that Vince is a legend, truly a legend. There are many prizes in the field of architecture which are typically named after the donors of the prize. This is a prize that's named after someone who stands for these amazing values. It's about what a person stands for, not just an abstract prize for a blue ribbon for achievement. If that is so, that's a weight that I hardly can bear. Because <laughs> I don't really know what I stand for. You hardly know really what you are in the long run. Creature of circumstances, of time, of change. I know what I've loved all my life is teaching. And I, the blessing to me from this prize is the, the sense I get that people appreciate that teaching. I find it very moving to me. And the sense that, in fact, my name can be attached to such a thing is a wonder to me.